It's paperwork day, and Kimberly Fox, proprietor of Kim's Palace, is going through the books to make sure everything is in order and in tip-top shape. But a voicemail from her sister is about to ruin everything. Kim, it's Denise. So I left insurance papers with you last week, so they're probably under some celebrity magazines by now. Anyway, they need to be read, signed, and in the post by 5 p.m. Today. So emergency nail appointments. No sneaking out to see Ray. 5 p.m. Um, I'm an independent woman like Beyonce, a um, sexy yet stylish businesswoman like Anne Summers, and slightly ruthless and ambitious like Donald Trump. So today I've got imp voices to log and of course the insurance papers, because after the last time, these are so important. The B&B suffered a major fire at the end of 2011. The business was destroyed and local doctor Yusef Khan sadly lost his life. Kimberly was unable to recoup any of the damages from her insurance company, but being a force to be reckoned with, she thinks that the incident adds character to the business. When the fire happened, I thought I lost my sister Denise. Thankfully, she lived to tell the tale. And now she's on my nerves. But once the dust settled and we were homeless for a while, I wasn't sure if I wanted to rebuild this again. I wasn't sure if I wanted the responsibility again. And then I remembered the R&B singer, Aaliyah, singing, dust yourself off and try again. Dust yourself off and try again, try again, try again. So I dusted myself off and I'm trying again now. I'm not sure if I'd try again if it went down again, but I'm trying again now. Uh, basically, Kim is like a small child. She's easily distracted. She don't want to do the art graft. <laughs> she gets cranky. She don't get her afternoon nap. <sighs> Things have got to change. You know, if she's big enough to have her own documentary slash business, then she's big enough to clean up her own messes. Tough love. Now that's what Kim needs. Tough love. Oh. oh, okay, okay. I mean, I know there's other things that I could do with my time, but if a job needs to be done, a job needs to be done, innit? Even if it does take all afternoon. So I've literally just finished page one and that's taken me 37 minutes. And if I keep up at that rate of 37 minutes, what time is it? I should be finished in... Two days! I'm just going to highlight the, the words that I don't understand and get back to them later. Yeah.
thing about Kim is she's a fighter. I mean, she's got her flaws, but, you know, she, she don't give up. Trust me. My life would be a lot easier if she did. You know, we didn't have much growing up, so this... Yeah, this is a real achievement. And while Kim's 100% is about half of everyone else's, you know, she's doing her best. And if a job needs doing, she gets it done. Usually by getting someone else to do it. <laughs> and about three days late. But you know what? She, she gets it done. With under an hour to go to make her deadline, there really isn't time to play with executive stress toys. It's about time that Kimberly started to have words with herself. I am a driven and determined woman. I am a driven and determined woman. I am driven, determined, a woman. I am a driven, determined woman. I am a woman. Okay, stay focused. Kim, you can do this. Positive mental attitude. Positive mental energy. Where's the last page? Where's the last page? Where's, oh, where's the last page? Last page, where's the last page? Where's, where's the it's the last page! Oh, where is it? Oh. Oh. Ah. and in life you have to be determined prepared organized and be a good timekeeper that's me and that's Alan Sugar he might be the last one in the boardroom but he's on time because it's his boardroom and this is Kim's Palace okay okay Cooking on gas. Have you got? Have you got um, an envelope? A stamp? Do me a favour, mate. 